Hi, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Larry Lopez. I'm the principal here at Delmar High School. Um, I just wanted to share some updates on social probation um, that we've made for this week and starting for the remainder of the year. So social probation, in case you're wondering, is if you have eight or more unserved detentions. So again, that means that you've been late eight or more times and you haven't served any detentions. So that is what putting you on social probation is. And social probation means no activities, no involvement in sports or dances or things like that. Um, and so we've heard from a few students and wanted to make some adjustments based on some of the feedback that we got. Um, so some of the changes first is when and how you can serve. So in the past, we've always done it at lunch in room 57. We've also added additional days and opportunities for students. So one of the big things is you can now serve lunch. You have lunch detention in room 57, you can do. You also have before school and after school in the library. Um, as a reminder, it's only 30 minutes. So 30 minutes in the morning, 30 minutes after school. Um, you could also do it with a teacher if you schedule that ahead of time. So again, we have the homework center, which is available before school and after school. You would have to get help and sign in for both options. Um, or if you have you do it with a teacher, make sure that your teacher fills out the detention form so that you get cleared for it. Um, as a reminder for students who have seventh period off or on odd days, you do need to be in the library at the start of seventh before the bell rings. Otherwise, you won't be able to access it. So just a reminder on that. Um, how can I check my tardies is something that always comes up. That hasn't changed, but just to let everyone know, you can check with an AP or a campus supervisor in the main office. We don't have a way yet for students to check their own tardies, but we are looking into a system that allows that. One question we always get is, can tardies be excused? Tardies cannot be excused. Only absences can be cleared in our system, so no tardies can be excused. And then the last question is, does social probation last six weeks? We reset every six weeks, but we pull data weekly to see if you're eligible. And I'm going to go over those big changes on our next slide. So I've already talked about social probation being eight or unserved detention. So in the past, we've done a six-week time frame. So if you are uh, have eight or more unserved detentions, then we have done it so that you couldn't... Um, go back to participating in sports or going to dances or anything like that until the six week grading period is up. So we have changed that based on hearing some feedback. So it's going to be something that we look at and we pull data every week. So you have an opportunity to lower your number of tardies every week. Um, but if you don't, you are going to be out for that full week. So just to give you guys a heads up, we pull data on Wednesdays. So at the end of the day on Wednesday, we'll pull all the tardies and be able to see which students have eight or more unserved detentions. And then we notify students on Thursday. So what that means is if you find out on Thursday that you can't participate or are notified, that means you are on social probation for the remainder of the week. So the example I use is let's say a student uh, is notified on the 1st of September that they are on social probation. They aren't able to participate in events until we pull data and notify on the 8th. So the data gets pulled on the 7th. It doesn't mean you can go back to participating in sports on the 7th, but if you are under, we notify people who are over on the 8th. So a little bit confusing. I totally get it but we look at it each week. So each week we pull data on who has eight or more detentions and we notify you through a summons. Usually there's an email that goes out, but each week you'll have an opportunity. So if maybe you're on social probation and you find out Thursday the 1st, maybe you do go to homework center, maybe you're on time, and then you find out on the 8th that you're no longer on social probation. Rather than having you wait out for the rest of the six weeks, you have an opportunity each week to recover. So we're really excited about that and we're really hoping people utilize their time. I just wanted to make another reminder for students who are in homework center or detention um, or the library, you do need to be working on something. So if you have to be escorted out, you don't get detention served. 
unfortunately. So again, please make sure that you bring something to work on, whether it's before school, lunch, or after school, um, and making sure that you get everything cleared up by Wednesday, because Thursday is when we'll notify you. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out to me or one of your assistant principals. We'd love to make sure that everyone is able to participate. And so we just want to create more opportunities for each and every one of you. Have a great day.